My name is Bob Sutor. I'm a mathematician and I'm a vice president with IBM Research in New York. I'm responsible for a lot of our quantum computing program. Uh, I know quantum computing can be confusing for a lot of people and I think that's mostly because they're used to the types of computers we have now which are your smartphones, your laptops, and even if you think about accessing the, the web, uh, those big server computers that, that are out there as well. Uh, classical computers that we have today are really useful, and every year people come along with great applications. However, it turns out that there are some types of problems that these classical computers just are not very good for. You start working on the problem, and the amount of memory that you need to, to really understand and calculate with this just blows up tremendously. And so the question is, well, maybe there's another type of computer. And one great candidate for this is quantum computing. So I want you to imagine here that aliens came down from another planet and they didn't have the benefit of our type of computing, but these aliens from another planet have, have created another very powerful type of, of computing. Unfortunately, it's, it's different from the very bottom up, from the way you build the hardware, to the way you program this, to the types of applications. So we have this great opportunity to take our existing technology with this new technology, now, it's not really aliens, we really invented this, right? But we get to combine it and do the best of both. There are some terms that are similar. We use bits, which are zero and one in classical computers, like in your phone. And for quantum computing, we use quantum bits, which sounds very similar, but in fact, they're more powerful. Uh, they not only have uh, more values than zero and one that we can work with, but they work together in ways that nothing in classical computer works together. So the way you think about this is, is completely strange, I think, to most people. But let me pose this question to you. If you took your phone and you opened it up and I said, tell me what everything does in that phone, I don't think most people could tell me. So quantum computing, yes, it's different. Yes, it's newer. But I'm very confident that people will learn how to program with them. I know already that people are learning how to make quantum computers and classical computers work together. And eventually, you won't even know you're using a quantum computer. When you go on the web, when you do a search, do you know what types of computers are being used? Do you know what sort of operating systems are being used? Do you know how they were programmed? I think eventually with most people it's going to be the same. What we will have though is suddenly the ability to solve some new problems that we've never been able to tackle for. And if we're lucky, they're going to be in very good areas such as creating brand new medicines, perhaps optimizing traffic. All the, these types of things that are just too much for classical computers. So yes, quantum computers are different, uh, but uh, they're live now, they're real now. They're still a little small, they'll get bigger, but now is the time to get quantum ready. And uh, you can do that today on the web.